Hello and welcome back to another interview at the Global Blockchain Congress, day one. I'm Adele, the host, and today I'm going to be interviewing Linda, co-founder of Ox, with, about her app. Uh, really interested to know more about what you're building in this space. So please give us the, the brief and tell us what you're building. So OX is a marketplace and what we're doing is we're enabling individuals to collect their data, their uh, time, their, all their assets that they've never been able to collect before. So time, attention, creativity, their data, put it into a decentralized data vault on their phone and then they can trade as either a real human or their digital human can trade for them on, on behalf of them within the OX marketplace. So that's crazy. What if, what if um, there's, a, there's a situation whereby uh, it trades on my behalf but I'm somehow unhappy with the trade? Well, the digital twin is you. So it's literally your biopsychosocial behavior, right? So your profile psychologically of you, and then it's all of your data as well. So if you're unhappy with the trade, well, then you're obviously unhappy with yourself potentially. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite funny. But is there a way to restore, to to fix that, or oh, it can be done? Like so, you're constantly evolving your digital twin. It's growing with you. So as your tastes change, as your attitudes, your behaviors change, it evolves with you. So it literally is a digital version of you that trades for you, and as you evolve. It evolves. Can it make mistakes? Well, it's you again. It's only you. It's not in a large language model. It's not sort of making decisions for you. It is basically just, in essence, a digital version of you. I see. But uh, what I mean is, uh, could the digital version of me be uh, inaccurate in some ways? Oh, well, it's possible, but again, it's back down to what you put in right. is what you get out. Right, so right. If you put junk in, <laughs> a different version of you, then of course it's going to be inaccurate. Yeah. Say if I say I love blueberries, but it, it, it gives me, you know, uh, recommendations for strawberries. Could that happen? Well, it's possible. In essence, like, so if you think about how anyone targets is targeted on any type of uh, platform, it goes based on, so you love this particular berry, you look berries, so then I can then target you for whether it's, uh, you know, raspberries, blueberries, uh, strawberries, it's arbitrary. So you get ads for all of those now, whereas in this environment, you say, well, actually, I love raspberries and I hate all others. So you wouldn't get information based on all the things you don't like. And uh, how many questions do you need to fill in for the survey to get all the data needed in order to create the digital twin? So today, it's done via sort of surveys, but tomorrow what it'll be done by is a digital agent. So you'll come onto the phone and it'll be like, hi, how are you today? Linda, what color are my eyes? Where do I live? Who am I? What do I like? So it'll literally be an interactive, so it'll be much easier to do than the sort of traditional Web2 survey context. So right now it's a little bit arduous, but as of tomorrow it won't be. Just tomorrow. No, not Context. <laughs> really That's really fast. Yeah, yeah. And 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 you're here. I saw you at the fundraising table. Right. So you're looking to fundraise. Yeah. What are you looking to fundraise and why? So in essence, we've already raised seven million. Yeah, so we've been going since 2019. We're looking to raise five million now. And that's really all about going to drive in our marketing. You know, get awareness of our brand, get educating people on their value. Like humans are so valuable and they just don't understand it because of all these middlemen that are taking their value. So, you know, there's an education piece and a marketing piece. So we're looking to raise through the five million, two million in equity token, sorry, two million in tokens and three million in equity. Why the token and equity split? Because the token actually drives our economy. So when you go on, you start earning our token. That's the reward you get for doing the job of building your digital twin. Then that token is then used in the economy as you do one minute jobs, you're then getting that token back. So there's the supply and the demand side of the token. And we also want the users to actually, or the individuals to feel a really intrinsic part of the economy. So the token is key for us for making that happen for the individuals. And do you have a demo here today to show us? Uh, well, it's on, it's on my phone, um, but yes, uh, so we're not doing a demo on the screen, but yes, we have a demo. Uh, the, the app is live, as I said, 1.5 million downloads. So. And, and jobs are already uh, live as well? No, we haven't gone after the commercial market yet. We're literally, we're so user-centric. Everything for us is about the individual. It's about empowering the individual. And a little bit, I guess, like anything, if you build it, the brands will come. You know, anyone who's looking for information will come. So for us, it's really centered about building the community, getting the users in, getting them mining their digital twins, getting them earning for assets that they never even knew they had. And that's really key for us to start with. And then the commercial piece, as we grow that user base, we'll bring in the commercial piece for them to trade and earn more tokens within the economy. And with the token uh, that you, you're launching, you have already launched, uh, how will you ensure that the tokens are always there to be paid, to, to be able to, to ensure payouts are paid on time? Okay. So in essence, it's a fixed supply. And that fixed supply is based on 
the number of individuals and the number of data points they give, that those individuals will sell back the token to the brands who are looking to do work within the platform. So whatever the supply is in that moment in time determines the price of the token. So, And how much is the supply? Uh, 1.37 billion, but that's based on 100 million people with 500 data points so they can build their digital twin. Will this, uh, will this supply uh, change over time? No. Fixed supply. Fixed For supply. life. For life. Interesting. Yeah, and that keeps that drives then. And the currency valuation is driven on like Metcalf's law. It has zero value today. But as people join the network and start mining their twin, the currency value goes up. Could there be a situation where a whale buys all the tokens, all the fixed supply tokens? Well, no, because you can only you can only get them if you mint them yourself. You have to mine your data, then you get the tokens. There's only 15 supply, 15 percent supply for investors. I see. So 15% uh, they can they can uh, mine. They can mine, yeah. Or if they want to come in and buy all the tokens from the users, but then ev everyone's winning. <laughs> interesting, interesting. And are you already on exchanges, uh, the token? No, we're going on to Arbitrum in the next, I'm going to say, 10 hours because I'm waiting for it to release. And then we're looking at a number of exchanges. We just haven't selected one. Our target markets are sort of the emerging economies, India, Asia-Pac, Africa. So we just want to make sure we get the right exchange that's going to feed into those economies. Not necessarily the, the biggest exchanges by name, but the, the exchanges by, by geographic region. By geographic region, yeah. So for instance, we know that say, I don't know, KuCoin or Kraken is really popular in India, so we'll look at that exchange. We know that Mex is really popular in Africa, so we'll look at that exchange. So we want to go on multiple exchanges to make sure we cover the geographical areas. Fantastic. Linda, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you for, ta thank you for talking to me. Absolutely. But we, uh, Linda, before we, we close off, could you share uh, what's the best way for the audience's sake to reach out to you or your website? Well, our website is www.oxygen.com. I'm on LinkedIn, Linda Davis. So you'll find me there. I'm on Twitter. You'll find me there. So Fantastic stuff. You heard it. So we'll leave all the links in the description below. Be sure to check those out. You don't want to miss out and uh, potentially earn some, some tokens on the side. But for now, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.